holy motherfucking shit, that's a damn good cup of coffee. Okay, let's ride. Okay, let's ride. And welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for Netflix's original short documentary series, History of Swear Words. The history lesson you didn't know you needed, hosted by Nicolas Cage, a loud and proudly profane series that explores the origins, pop culture usage, science of culture, impact of curse words. So we're in 2021, uh, <laughs> and what Netflix and Nicolas Cage have given us is something that we didn't know we needed, but we definitely need. There are six episodes, and when I saw the trailer for this originally uh, a while back, a few months ago, uh, it had me hooked because Nicolas Cage, I don't know what you think about Nicolas Cage, whether you love his acting or you don't love his acting, but there are definitely some films that people think of where it's a guilty pleasure, like Con Air. Um, I love that film, although I know it's not a great film. The Rock, you could... Uh, I know a lot of people kind of like that film, and then you get to films like people like, yeah, Face Off is great. But of late, Nicolas Cage has been doing some really crazy out there films. He's kind of embraced that crazy look in his eye, and that's what got me excited to seeing the history uh, of swear words. Not only was I intrigued about, oh, where do the swear words that people use... Um, that I occasionally use, come into play. Uh, and so we get Nicolas Cage hosting the, the history of that amongst other comedians and people of note, um, formed in a really short episodic nature. Each episode uh, contains a uh, particular swear word. So I guess you get you get fuck and shit and damn, and they just chronicalize it. Um, so they start with fuck. And so if you want to know whether you're going to enjoy this series, just watch the first episode. If you enjoyed that, then you might be surprised how much you enjoy. And Nicolas Cage does everything I was hoping he was going to do. He just absolutely encapsulates the craziness, especially how he introduces it. You know, he starts by showing how you could say a particular word or uh, exaggerated completely. The documentary itself uh, goes back into films, it goes back into the history, we have animation, we have comedians, we have uh, science experiments, and it's all intercut together very nicely, so it makes it very entertaining. So all it will take you is that first episode to really realize whether you're going to enjoy this. I thought it was fantastic. And it actually is very interesting seeing the taboo of certain words and why people say they they say it and how actually saying swear words actually has power and can help you uh, in your brain. Uh, you know, it's scientifically backed uh, the way the origins has been skewered over the many centuries, um, how it's used in context for good or bad, uh, the film rating system, how messed up it is, because actually uh, when you say certain things, uh, it has different connotations to, depending on which part of the world you're in. All of that is kind of encompassed as they talk about each particular different word. I was surprised that there weren't a few other words. I mean, I was surprised that the, the word damn was in there rather than the C word that we have here in the UK. And I know in America it is said a lot. I would consider that to be a much worse word, sometimes even than the F word. Uh, so <laughs> let me know which you think are the best cuss words to use in the comments below, which episode did you most enjoy? This is definitely a documentary series that you should watch. It's a comedy um, docu-series hosted by Nicolas Cage. What more could you ask for, really? Which is your favorite Nicolas Cage film? Um, I know he's done some amazing films like Leaving Las Vegas, uh, but I do enjoy uh, the cheese ones like Con Air, uh, The Rock. Uh, yeah. Love the documentary series, gonna give it an A. Couldn't have asked for more, except for maybe more episodes. I think that would have been great. It's put together really well. Um, I do wonder if Nicolas Cage was high in some of the episodes because he has that crazed look in his eyes, slightly bloodshot, slightly raised. And I was like, is that just the look, the intensity that he has, or is he like on some medicine? Uh, I don't know, but I just, I love the fact that he hosted it and I thought it was the perfect combination. Netflix, history of uh, swear words and Nicolas Cage. So uh, as one of my first reviews, this is more me going, yeah, watch it. Definitely watch it. <laughs> Put it on your list. Thanks so much for watching this. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.